The question rises softly but urgently. What comes after silicon? Maybe the answer isn't in electricity at all. Maybe it's in light itself. A spark not of wires but of waves. A path where data no longer stumbles but flows like a river without end. Within a chip no larger than a fingernail, scientists are now teaching light to think, to remember. And that quiet shift may change everything we know. For over half a century, progress in computing has meant shrinking transistors. Every year we packed billions more onto tiny silicon chips. Machines ran faster, cheaper, and more powerful. But now we've hit a wall. Transistors are only a few atoms wide. Physics itself is starting to push back. Electrons leak through barriers. Heat builds in suffocating layers. The dream of endless scaling is fading. At the same time, our ambitions are growing larger than ever. Artificial intelligence, with its endless appetite for calculations, demands power that silicon can't keep up with. Data centers glow like furnaces, burning energy equal to entire nations. We are reaching the ceiling of what electrons can carry, yet we still want more. More knowledge, more speed. We're standing on the edge of breathtaking potential and trapped inside the limits of our own invention. Light behaves like nothing else. Where electrons crawl through wires like cars in traffic, starting, stopping, and colliding, light flows. It glides. It carries information as waves, not particles. It doesn't slow at intersections. It doesn't weaken over distance. Imagine data not waiting its turn but moving in endless streams. A single pulse of light can be split, bent, merged, and keep flowing. Light moves faster, cleaner, almost effortlessly. That's why scientists are turning to it. Photonic computing promises speed we've never seen and efficiency that feels almost magical. But light has a flaw. It can't remember. All computers rely on three things, processing, communication, and memory. The first two, light can do incredibly well. Photonic chips can calculate at lightning speeds and transmit data across circuits with minimal loss. But memory, that's the challenge. Light doesn't stop. It doesn't store. Once a photon passes, it's gone. So to remember anything, we've always had to convert light back into electricity. That adds delay, that burns power, and that slows everything down, nullifying the very benefits of light-based computing. For years, this limitation cast doubt on whether photonic computing could ever be complete. The missing piece was memory. Now researchers have found it. They built a microscopic ring, a resonator, that traps light like a tuning fork, holds a musical note. They coated it with a thin material that changes phase when heated. This phase change lets the material store information, a one or a zero. Together, this ring and this material allow light to move and store at the same time. Suddenly, photonic memory became real. Now, data doesn't need to leave the world of light to be stored. It can remain inside the photonic chip, held, processed, and reused without conversion. This changes everything. In today's chips, memory and processing live far apart. Every calculation must travel across wires to be saved, then travel back to be used again. Nearly 80% of a chip's energy goes not into thinking, but just moving data. It's like owning a race car but driving it through traffic. All that power, wasted by the road itself. Photonic chips don't need to play that game. When memory and computing are in the same place, the data stays put. The operation happens instantly, where the light already is. That means less energy, more speed, and far fewer bottlenecks. Light is more than fast, it's colorful, literally. Unlike electrons, all of which are identical, photons can carry different colors, different wavelengths. That means you can stack many data streams on top of each other, all using different colors of light, all moving through the same space. On a single chip, researchers have already demonstrated 32 separate light channels computing in parallel, each one a different hue, purple, green, red, blue, each doing its own job. That's like having 32 CPUs in the space of one. In electronics, that would require building 32 separate circuits. With light, it happens in one compact, elegant structure. This is real parallel computing at a scale we've never seen before. Why AI needs this? Artificial intelligence is no longer science fiction. It's already here, running in your search engine, powering your phone, fueling massive data centers, answering billions of questions a day. But AI is hungry. Each prediction, each image, each chatbot answer requires thousands, sometimes millions of calculations. That means electricity, a lot of it. Some large AI models now consume more power daily than small cities. Google, Microsoft, Amazon, they all see the same storm coming. 
If chips don't become faster and more efficient, AI will collapse under its own weight. Photonic computing offers a way out. A chip that runs at the speed of light and draws the power of a nightlight? That could change everything. What now overheats servers could become manageable, even graceful. Without new hardware, AI can't grow. With photonic chips, it can sort, but it doesn't stop at AI. Photonic processors could transform science itself. Simulating a galaxy, modeling a hurricane, predicting protein folding, tasks that take weeks or months now could happen in days or hours. Climate models could become more accurate. Drug discovery could move faster. Financial markets, transportation systems, space missions, any field that depends on massive computations could be supercharged. Why? Because at its heart, computing isn't about machines. It's about answers. And with light, those answers come faster. Of course, nothing is simple. Photonic chips are still in early stages. Their components are larger than traditional transistors, making dense integration a challenge. Their memory materials wear out over time, and the digital world is built for electrons. Software, networks, hardware, all of it. Bringing light into that ecosystem means rethinking everything. But that's already happening. Startups like Light Matter, Light Elegance, and QED are racing to solve the final hurdles. Universities are refining the tech. Tech giants are watching closely. The prize? Supercomputers that run on the energy of a light bulb. Whoever wins will shape the next era of computing. We've trusted electrons for decades, but their time is nearly up. Photons, faster, cleaner, more powerful, are rising to take their place. The race is on. The challenges are real. But so is the promise. One day soon, our machines may not just run on light. They may think with it. And when that day comes, we'll remember this moment. When a chip, no bigger than a fingertip, first taught light to remember.